But you're always going to have one servant that ain't going to have enough faith. Go ahead. And when the servant of the man of God was risen early and gone forth, behold, and host compassed the city, both with horses and chariots. And his servant said unto him, Alas, my master, how shall we do? No, he said, wait a minute, man. Look at all these elements. What are we going to do? What are we going to do, man? Look at all this stuff. That's all right. Look how the condition responded to this. Go ahead. And he answered, Fear not, for they that be with us are more than they that be with them. Man, the servant like, man, what are you talking about? I don't see nothing. <laughs> All I see is these, this whole army coming up against so us. It ain't but two of us. This is why Elisha prayed to the Lord to make the servant see. Go ahead. And Elisha prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee, open his eyes that he may see. And the Lord opened the eyes of the young man and he saw and behold, the mountain was full of horses and chariots of fire round about Elisha. They, they didn't understand. He had to show him because his faith was wicked. When he seen those angels all around Elisha on that mountain, he said, oh, okay. Mm. That's what I'm trying to get y'all to see. It's not about the numbers of the world. It's about the power of God with you. Come on. Man, he destroyed flesh like that. These angels can't appear before you. They'll destroy you like the brightness of them will destroy this flesh. But he showed Elisha. He showed the, he showed the servant. Like, look, man, let me show you something. Look at all these chairs around here. We good. We are good. Look what happened. Go ahead. And when they came down to him, Elisha prayed unto the Lord and said, Smite this people, I pray thee, with blindness. And he smote them with blindness according to the word of Elisha. So you mean to you tell me only one smoke, smoke that whole great army with blindness. They couldn't see. Mm. One, it don't take but one. Y'all think it take a lot. It don't take but one to have great faith. All I need is one with me. And we'll take on the word. Period. Because I'm alright. Go ahead. And Elisha said unto them, this is not the way, neither is this the city. Mm -hmm. Follow me, and I will bring you to the man whom you see. But he led them to Samaria. So Elisha went down there. They couldn't see nothing. He smote them all with blind. He said, look, y'all follow me. Y'all follow me. I'm going to take you where you're supposed to be so God won't kill you, mm -hmm. basically. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take you there. Go ahead. And it came to pass, when they were coming to Samaria, that Elisha said, Lord, open the eyes of these men that they may see. And the Lord opened their eyes and they saw. And behold, they were in the midst of Samaria. Do y'all understand, Israel? That's a power. It took one man, take a great army down by himself. Y'all follow me. I got the way. That's how it's going to happen in these last days. They're going to be looking for Israel to help to show them the answers. When the great tribulation comes. That's right. They're gonna be looking. They ain't gonna find me, I tell you that much. I'm gonna be in the wilderness. I hope. Last one. Let's go to Revelation chapter 3 and 1. Only few gonna make it, y'all. Few of them is gonna make it. Y'all people be talking that talk with you, they ain't riding with you. <laughs> that that pain hit their behind. They ain't riding with you. They ain't been hungry enough. They ain't been hot enough. They haven't. We're more of a slave today than we ever been. Because we serve God in comfort. Mm. Comfort. Mm -hmm. That's why I tell y'all, put your body through a little pain. Put it through it. Like some brothers in the Feast of Tabernacles stand up tents for seven days. No heat. All of them stand up for a long time. Just to put them I understand. I'm getting a little better understanding of tabernacle now. To understand the temporary dwellings. This is what we got to do to make sure we don't serve God just for comfort. Mm -hmm. Beat yourself up a little bit now. Revelation chapter 3 and 1. Only a few more make it, y'all, but the few that are watching. Go ahead. And unto the angel of the church 
in Sardis. So right. we're talking to this, this angel is talking to this church to, in Sardis. Go ahead. These things says he that has the seven spirits of God mm -hmm. and the seven stones. I know thy works, that thou has a name, that thou liveth and are dead. The seven spirits are the angels of God who patrol the earth. You can read in Ezekiel chapter 8, I think. Ezekiel 8 or 9, I think it's 8. How he sent those seven, seven spirits around the earth to report to him what's going on. And this is what he does to report. Go ahead. Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. Mm. For I have not found thy works perfect before God. He said, be watchful. Strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. How many folk ready to die for the word? I am. I am. Because believe me, I said to God to wake me back up and I'm going to be good if I die in righteousness. That's right. That's what we got to understand. Stop trying to save this body now. If you're in a tough situation where you cannot make it out, you better be asking God for repentance of what's going on. Don't deny him just to save this body. Save. That's why I say put yourself through a little pain. So when they come up on you, you will know how it feels. A lot of people don't know what pain feel like. And a lot of women know what pain feel like more so than men. Having birth pains. You're going to find out in a minute. But that thing is serious. And I don't know, but I'm with my wife having my kids. That thing is serious, boy. But well, go ahead. Verse 3. Remember therefore how thou hast received and heard, and hold fast and repent. Mm -hmm. If therefore thou shalt not watch, I will come on thee as a thief, mm -hmm. and thou shalt not know what hour I will come upon thee. I hate when people misquote that verse. The Lord gonna come in a thief in the night. <laughs> now what did that just say? The ones that do not watch. If you ain't watching the abomination and desolation come in Jerusalem near the third temple, he gonna come to you as a thief in the night. Because he, that man is saying, going to say, the Christians and the Muslims and the Buddhists, all of them going to come together. We friends now. And then sudden destruction going on. But we know as Israelites, when they be at that third temple in Jerusalem, we get ghosts. We going to get out of here. You got to move some, man. Go ahead. Verse 11. Uh -huh. Behold, I come quickly. Where you at? Four, go for it. We'll go to the six. We'll go to the six. Four. That's four. Mm -hmm. Okay, verse, verse four. Uh -huh. Thou has a few names, even in Sardis, which have not defiled their garments. Mm -hmm. And they shall walk with me in white, for they are worthy. So how many in this church of Sardis? A few. Few. Not a great number. A few. Don't think this is about members of this church and all the Israelite church. It's not about them. It's very few going to make it. You just get in. Go ahead. He that overcometh, the same shall be clothed in white raiment. Yes, sir. And I will not blot out his name out of the book of life. Mm -hmm. But I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. This is what we want. He or she that overcometh the same shall be clothed with the white raiment. What is that white right raiment? It's this new body. This resurrected body where you're going to be clothed. You're not going to die no more. And most of all, you're going to be on the right side of the kingdom. Go ahead. He that has an ear, let him hear what the Spirit says unto the churches. I was I always wonder why he said he that has an ear. Because everybody got ears. Mm. But very few people can hear this. Amen. Meaning that when you hear this and you operate on it, you hear it. Amen. But when you hear this and you don't operate on it, you don't hear it. My brother said to me, Jeff, that's some scary stuff. I said, to me it is. He said, why are you going to say that? It is scary to me. I said, no, I'm not. He's like, yes, it is. That's no, I'm not. He said, why? Because you're not doing it. If you were scared of something,
you're respected and followed. But if you're not scared of God, you're not going to follow it. You can't hear it. You can't see it. That's what people don't understand. If you respect something, you like, that your attention is on it. Jump down to verse uh, 11. Go ahead. Behold, I come quickly. Hold that fast which thou hast, that no man take thy crown. Don't let nobody take your crown from you. The crown is this word of God. The word of God bring the crown. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God. Yes, sir. And he shall go no more out. Mm. And I will write upon him the name of my God and the name of the city of my God. Yes, sir. Which is New Jerusalem, which cometh down out of heaven from God, from my God. And I will write upon him my new name. I thought New Jerusalem stayed in heaven. No, that's what did that just say? Come, Come down. Down. Amen. down. For my God, written with a new name. So people are always concerned about Hebrew. We're going to have a different language. Different language. This language ain't going to never be heard again when we talk about Hebrew, English, and all that. Everybody going to have the same exact language. Do I know what the language is? No. But I'm waiting on it. Go ahead. He that has it here. Let him hear what the Spirit saith unto the churches. And unto the angel of the church of the Laodicean, mm -hmm. right? These things says the Amen, mm -hmm. the faithful and true witness, the beginning of the creation of God. So you tell the church of Laodicea something. Pay, pay, pay close attention to this. Go ahead. I know thy works, mm -hmm. that thou art neither cold nor hot. I would thou were cold or hot. Because I know he works. Sometimes you with me, sometimes you're not. But you're in the middle. He said, I want you to be either one or the other. If you're going to sin, be a good sinner. Believe me. Live it up. Sin to the fullest. Mm -hmm. Don't play with this. That's what he's saying. Why? Go ahead. So then, because thou art lukewarm and neither cold nor hot, I will spew thee out of my mouth. What do you mean by spew you out of the mouth? The angels escorted him to the lake of fire. Put him in there. That's how he spewed. With a command. Take you to the lake. Take me to the lake. If I'm not going to be real with him. Go ahead. But this is why they blind right here. Because thou said, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing. Numbers. Great numbers. That's all they trust in. Go ahead. And know it not that thou art wretched and miserable and poor and blind and naked. You tell most of these people to go to church on the Sunday, man. Y'all going to hell if y'all don't change that Sunday worship. Well, who are you? My pastor got five churches. He got plenty of money. Look at all the members here. We got a good job. Why are you going to say that? We serve God of prosperity. What did the book say? They are rich and increased with goods, have no need of nothing. Mm -hmm. But they are blind and wretched. They don't understand. Because <laughs> the numbers has confused them. They got money. I don't care what you say. I didn't say it. Go ahead. Verse 18. I counsel thee to buy of me gold tried in the fire. Yes, sir. That thou mayest be rich. White raiment. That thou mayest be clothed. And that the shame of thy nakedness do not appear, and anoint thine eyes with thy sad, that thy may may see. God said, I want to make sure that your nakedness or your sin don't appear before the Father. Yes. I want to anoint your eyes so you can see sin and not do it. So if you sin, you'll say, okay, you can recognize sin. You say, Lord, forgive me for that sinful thought I had. Lord, forgive me for lying. Lord, forgive me for stealing. You go ahead and immediately correct it. But when a person don't have those eyes, eye sleeves like he said, they see it, they'll say, it's all right, everybody do it. Ain't nobody perfect. They just walk on, keep going. Ain't nobody perfect, ain't nobody perfect. And they'll stop believing it. Only the small stuff that we think is small like a lie. Ain't nobody perfect. He said, liars going to have their part in the lake of fire. Every little inch of this commandment is important to say, forgive me if I broke it. Go ahead. 
Go ahead. 19. And as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten. Be zealous, therefore, and repent. That's it. All in a nutshell. That's it, yeah. Okay. Everybody got? This is what God wants us to do. We're going to take up the offering right now. If you have anything you want to give, give it. If not, we want to stand.